it is. Veal Parmigiana. A classic Italian-American dish dating back to the early 20th century. It was made by breading and frying veal, layering with sauce, mozzarella, parmesan, and there it was. In the 1950s, a dish called veal parmigiana became popular in Italian restaurants and cookbooks, especially all over the east coast of America. Veal was cheaper than chicken back then, and that's why it was used in the dish. However, as chicken became more affordable, the popularity of veal parmigiana decreased immensely. Sicily, Naples, Puglia, and Calabria are among the Italian regions that claim the invention, and all of them might be correct. Interestingly, each region has actually developed its own version. Before a lot of Italians moved away from Italy to other countries, it was hard to find proteins like chicken in the old world. So when they moved, they had to change the traditional dish, chicken parmigiana, to use ingredients that they could find like breaded and fried eggplant. Then there's the Parmigiana label. Why is it referred to as Parmigiana when it's typically made with mozzarella? One theory is based on the geography of Italy, that delicate Parmigiana or Parmesan cheese is named after the northern Italian region where it was invented. And as a result, you might believe it was named after Parma. Now, interestingly, the wood slats and window shutters, which resemble the overlapping eggplant and sauce layers, are known as Parmigiana in Sicilian dialect. Parmigiana is thought to have originated in Parma, Italy's northernmost city, but food historians argue that the dish could not have been made after Parma because it was not eaten that far north. Instead, it was popular in Campania and Sicily in both the southern regions of Italy. As you see, no one knows for sure, so we're going to leave it up to you to figure it out. However, this humble dish, in its simplicity, is one of the most tasty things that you're ever going to have in your entire life. And it's actually quite simple to make veal parmesan at home. Preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit to begin. Set aside a 9 by 13 inch oven dish while you prepare the veal. The cutlets are slightly seasoned on both sides with salt and pepper. And then from there, prepare a breading station for the veal. Make three shallow dishes, one for the breadcrumbs, one for the eggs, and one for the flour. Season each lightly with salt, pepper, oregano, and garlic powder for maximum flavor. And then start dredging the meat in flour and turn it to coat to both sides thoroughly. Remove the meat from the flour plate and shake it to remove any excess flour off. And then you dip the floured slices in the eggs and you coat both sides. And when you've got that done, you place the cutlet in the breadcrumbs plate and you press on the breadcrumbs. You push them down on both sides to adhere to the veal. Now, in a pan with hot oil, cook the bread and veal cutlets about two minutes per side or until golden brown. You don't want to have the veal completely cooked here. Instead, what you want is a nice golden crust. And don't worry about fully cooking the veal because it will continue to cook later on when we get it in the oven. When the veal cutlets are golden and seared, remove them to a plate lined with paper towels and drain and absorb any of the excess oil. And now... It's time to assemble the dish. Three-quarter cup to one cup of marinara sauce should cover the bottom of that baking dish pan. And then evenly distribute the cooked veal slices all over the sauce. Add a layer of basil pesto before adding another layer of marinara for flavor. And on top, you take additional marinara sauce, mozzarella, parmesan cheese, and you sprinkle it all over the top. And now you're ready to bake it with extra basil pesto and fresh cherry tomatoes. Now, the cherry tomatoes are required. That's just something one of our aunts used to do, but I'm going to highly recommend it. But you can leave them out. I don't care. Now, look, once done, you serve immediately after baking until everything is hot and bubbly. And then you enjoy fresh, homemade veal parmesan. It's the perfect combination of crispy, juicy, and cheesy. It'll satisfy your hunger. Plus, it's relatively easy to make. So, indulge whenever you like. Did you know that vegans and vegetarians cannot have gender reveal parties? Yeah, it's true. Because first you must veal before you reveal. <laughs> These are interesting things with JC.